All right, this is another in a series of videos on how Ryan Adams plays his songs. This time we're going to do a Do I Wait off of the Ashes and Fire record. And the performances we're going to mirror today are the performances that Ryan does solo acoustically on Live at Letterman and also the CR, KCRW performance uh, that he did. Uh, he plays this song on his Harmony Jet Black Sovereign guitar. And in that spirit, we'll be playing uh, this also on my Harmony Jet Black Sovereign guitar. There's that gigantic headstock. Um, the song is very simple. It's all uh, uh, chords in the first position, open chords in the first position, a standard tuning, no uh, capo. Uh, the chords are C, and the C is always the four-fingered C, the C with the G add at the top, and then G, and you want to use the um, uh, G position where your uh, ring finger is on the G. Uh, the e, uh, the G note on the on the low E string and the G note on the high E string. Uh, at the very least, sometimes you can you can do your uh, ring um, your index your middle finger on the uh, A string second fret or without if you want. Uh, a minor, E minor, and then he'll uh, often do a pull off on the E minor and just p depress the second fret um, A string. That's the only one he'll do to create a kind of E minor 7th. And then the chorus also has D in it as well. Get it down a little bit. Okay, so uh, the song begins on C, but I'll C with a hammer on. So the hammer on is always on 2nd uh, second fret uh, D string. So then the G, then hammer on, A minor, two finger hammer on, and then you want to E minor, and pull off, like that, okay, so it goes like this. And you want to really accentuate that that low E string when you move to the E minor. And so that's the intro, and then he moves into the verse. The verse are the, it's the same chords. Um, often he will not do the hammer on on the C when he sings. He'll just do a straight C, but always the hammer on on the A, the two finger A minor, all the two finger and a hammer on the A minor. And then sometimes he'll pull off on the E minor when he sings, and sometimes not. So you just listen to the performances and get a feel for when he does that. All right, so that's the verse, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, and then when you move into the chorus, and the chorus moves in from the E minor, and you do um, a low E string run up, F sharp, G. And again, that's one of the reasons why you want that position for your G chord, because it allows the run up to go nice and smooth. All right, so. And D, and then pull off. All right? Sometimes you'll you'll see the pull off. Sometimes not. All right? So I like the I like the pull off all the time. All right? So that high E string pull off, and then um, a hammer on on the um, uh, uh, G string second fret. All right? Then shift to A minor, hammer on, pull off B. And then your BC walk up. Now he does the BC walk up smooth, you know, nice and smooth. I like to do it like that. So it sounds like this. So you're moving from the E minor conclusion of the verse. That I like that, you know, and then, and then pull off on the C all right, at the end. So walk up again. Let's do it again. That's how you do the um, the. Um, on the chorus. And that's basically it. That's the song. 
uh, and then at the end on the outro, the outro is the same as um, uh, as the intro. You know, do I wait? Do I wait? Now something. And you'll you'll listen to uh, the song. You'll notice he'll hit that. He'll he'll hit that E string and hit those high strings at this uh, sort of alternate between the the low E um, uh, and the the higher the higher strings. And you can listen to him do that to kind of create that effect. And though he's a finger picker and not a uh, doesn't use a pick. Uh, this is mostly a strum song, so it works well with a pick. So anyway, there you go. Uh, that um, That's the song. It's pretty simple, pretty basic, but what really makes it work are those run-ups, uh, transitions, hammer-ons, and pull-offs uh, that really create an emotional effect. And this is a great song for beginning guitarists to learn as well as you're beginning to master those uh, first position open chords. I hope that's helpful, and uh, I will see you again soon. Thanks.